Hey everybody, everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? Okay. What up? What up? Manners and respect. Hey, your girl man, Debbie from down a yard. Well, this video here, we wanna do. I wanna show you how to do an omelet. A lot of people have, you know, me myself sometimes, but I think practice makes perfect. As you go along, you can practice. So we want to try to see how best we can come out with it and if my video here can be of any help to you. So look here, stick around, follow me now man. Yeah, you know my team. Zoom right team. Inside of my bowl here I have a dozen eggs. Yeah? I'm going to crack an egg at a time. And we just going to whip them with a whisk. But right over here I have You know my pot, me name them Joe, right? And you may be wondering how this pot is so big and she said she going to do omelette tonight, yeah? So may I make sure my soil, yeah, me eat down, okay. I want to do just an omelette, maybe a family size omelette, right? Because the amount of eggs that you put into your omelette determines the size. So I have a dozen eggs. But I wouldn't say because they weren't as huge. They were just like medium sized to small. I didn't have any large eggs. So, you know, eggs on a hole don't keep, they don't cook. Zoom in, make them see what happen. They don't cook on a very high heat. It's like a moderate to low heat. So inside here, my does, inside of my does medium sized eggs, I have, I'm gonna put a quarter of a teaspoon. Let me come in a one day the extra spill over night. So have a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Because you know me and the salt moderately. And we just go and get a little gig a crack pepper. That's it. That's just it. And we're going to proceed to do a little more beating. So I have a heat over here. Okay. From the feel of it. We a little more and we're going to pour right in right so we're going to pour on a moderate in a circular motion trying to get everything on an even 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 note okay why not chop we eat a bit now, I have two slices of cheese here. Zoom, make it swallow it, run it. And you can see it start cooking. So we're going to tear up with cheese and put it in. Remember, I told you, you know, eggs, they don't cook on a very high heat. Medium to kind of low like. So, meanwhile, they're cooking, I'm putting the cheese slices in there for kind of melt. I'm going to have some little extra ones, go and put it right in. So, you see the edges, they come in to come. Yeah. You watch around the edges. We're going to just dump all of this because we want a cheesy omelette. Eh? Yeah, man. So, meanwhile, that's in there, that is happening. And we're still going to put a few pieces of our scallion. You don't know? That's basically it. Now, we're waiting and watching to see. Zoom right in. You see this part here? You see it coming? Mm -hmm. So zoom right in and it let them see. Because we're trying to get a family size omelette. We're trying to get one omelette. We can just serve the whole family. So maybe you say to yourself, say, wow. I hope she ever get that the big omelet. But let us just, just take time in while that's happening. Let me do my little clean up. Let me do my little clean up. You see it's starting to set? Yeah, and we don't want it to get burned or anything either. You know. Slow, slow eat. So, keep it on for that, let them see. Keep it on for that, feel like a little time, let them see. Right? So we watch it, we're watching it, 
as it go along. I chop back we eat a little. Because the trick inside of this, you know, family, what everybody want to learn to do is to learn to flip the omelette. That is the part where a lot of people can't master. But in order to master this part, you have to practice. You know? So, you see we come in to come. There is where we edges. We have our edges. But it's not ready to flip us yet because over here cooking and over here still not cooked. But at the same time, the cheese are melt inside of it. You understand? So as you go along, you watch it. Because we don't want it to burn, you know. It's loosen away from the edges. And you would notice I didn't put any water or any milk. Some people put milk and all them stuff. Holy pot, no. We just want the pure omelette. All right? You see it? Come in to come. Right under there, over here, most of over here is almost hard. So we're waiting on over here. When we get it half, we're hard. Look at it, zoom in. When we get it half, because we want to flip and come across. So when we get it half away hard, then we can flip. As soon as we get right here, that when you put the spatula here, you see it? Right in here in the middle. We're waiting on it. As soon as we get in here, come a bit hard. Then we can flip right over. And this is where the little trick lies. Everybody want to learn to do this. This is, the, this, is the, this is the little art of it. Getting it flip and properly folded. You know? We're coming. You notice the spatula not going down far. Right? Right here is almost there. So we have the hedges real smooth already so you want to get your spatula right underneath it and to flip maybe another minute or so and we're there yeah we're gonna flip the cook side over on this side See it guys? You see it? And you hold it down. Hold it down. Hold it down. Hold it right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Because it's so big. So you have to, you know, you want it to stay on top of the other one. We don't want it to move. So you have it right there. Okay? So we're turning down the heat because we don't want it get burned. Okay? We want to get to the middle. So we're holding it right there. Zoom right in on it. Let them see it. Okie dokie. Right to the middle. Are you, are, are, are you walk? Or are you, 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 you whatever? And you're holding it right there. Right there. And we want to make sure it's properly cooked. So you see the cheese coming out and everything. Now there's going to be another little task, guys, with such a big omelet. We want to get it out the, 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 the skillet. But don't worry, man. As soon as it's ready, we'll get it out. So we're going to set up our plate right over here. Cause maybe yeah, one wonder say I wish you put that big omelet here in now. So this is the cheese melting inside it, you know. Right? So this is a family size omelet, guys. Looking at it, you realize that this can share for the whole family. Family size omelet. This can share for the whole family. One dozen eggs, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, a dash of black pepper, maybe a half handful of green onions or skeleton or whatever you want to call it. Right? We're going to try to 
to see if we can get it over on the other side. Zoom right in. This is the flip process. This is the process for everybody fear. But we're gonna try to flip. Whoops. Right over. And we had a little, but we can take care of that. So, we're gonna just patch right here, yes. Right back. And we're good. Now that you know, oh, you know your omelet is ready. We are ready, guys. You sink it and nothing coming out. So we're moving from over here, right over onto here. Oops, right in. Right in. Right in over here. There you have it. There you have it. Family size omelet. Yes? So all we're gonna do now, zoom right in. We're gonna just top it off with a little freshly chopped tomatoes that we peeled. And we chop them. And some green onions. Just top it off with that. And there you have it. From West Indian Delights. Family size omelette. You can put a little more of your cracked black pepper over it. There you have it, guys. Let's clean up. Whoops. Making a little mess. But that's kitchen all over. Zoom right in on it. Let them see it. Family size omelette from West Indian Delights. Put the camera up on me. From my kitchen to yours, enjoy. Family size omelet from West Indian Delights. This can be, this can share for like five people. And you can serve it with your ash brown and whatever your toast, everything. If you have enjoyed this family size omelet video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscri yet subscribed to my channel, please do so at the grateful. Remember to turn on your notification and leave your comments below. We welcome them. And listen to my man. Remember, I'm, all, I'm, I'm always on the saying of Mother's Day. Mother's Day is still in the ear and getting nearer. Listen to me. Try this. A baby from Dunga Yard, you know it go. Boop.